Hey guys, I'm back here with Thrill Source recording a brand new construction update for Calico River Rapids at Knott's Berry Farm. This ride is set to open in less than two weeks, so let's see how they're doing as they should be very far along on their progress. The queue line slash station building slash tower has been surrounded with logs and wooden beams that are all brand new, and they look really good. It definitely gives it a more rustic feel than the kind of ugly feel of the old version. It didn't really have a theme, it was just there. This one, it looks really great. Over here by the brand new entrance sign that is ginormous and is surrounded by tons of new wooden beams and logs. That whole area looks really good, but you can also see way in the back They've got a new trough over the rafting flume that will probably leak out water onto guests. Now, I'm not usually one who likes to get super wet, but I know a lot of people do, so good for them. Over by the cabin, you can see it has been completely finished, including the chimney and all the surrounding area. We can't exactly see what's inside of it due to the angle of the cabin, but I'm not even sure if they have put anything in there or if they plan to. There's also an X right there for some reason. Over here in a different angle of the cabin, you can see it's completely full. And they also have built a brand new water tower. This went up really quickly, so it wasn't even there in the last construction update. And it looks great. Another thing, this brand new log on top of the flume, which will definitely be leaking water onto people. It looks really interesting. We'll see how it goes. There's another angle of the water tower and trough over the guests. But now you can see the brand new queue house that they're constructing. And this is definitely not nearly as far along on construction as the other parts of the project are, but they also had to build a completely new building as opposed to just adding features over there. And here is probably the biggest feature of this construction update, the brand new bear animatronic. The animatronic definitely looks different than indoor animatronics because it has been weatherproofed. So it has a bit of a hard shell instead of a furry looking outside. So it'll be interesting to see how it moves because we have not seen it in motion yet since it has been installed. And then over here, you've got another animatronic. This one is a mountain lion, I think. It's just chilling on top of those rocks. So you have to look up to see it. And here is where the Maintenance is currently installing the brand new Rapids parts, which I assume is the last step they need to construct before they finally start testing water, which should occur later this week. It's really exciting to see that they're getting progress, but it's also kind of interesting to see how the Rapids part of the flume works. Past where they were installing the Rapids, you can see the second cabin. This one is less visible than the first one, and is one of three. The third one is hidden even farther back. Again, we can't actually see what's inside of the cabin, but over there in that previous shot, you could see I zoomed in on the bridge, and that has changed a little bit, but not too much. The third cabin should be behind these wooden fences right here that are also brand new. They're surrounding Pony Express's track, but I'm not exactly sure why. Now here you can see almost where the new TNT boxes are being installed. They look like they're almost ready, uh, and it'll be interesting to see how those work given that they advertised a interactive feature where it might splash you as well. That's about it from this construction update, so I'll make sure to do at least one more before it opens on May 17th.